Hey, hello everybody. Today is a Sunday. Hopefully I'm having my mic situations figured out for you guys. Um, so I'm going to be going over a lot of stuff. So I'm going to briefly tell you what's in store for you in this video. Uh, I'm going to tell you about how to get the script for the scalpers indicator if you want it for some other program, uh, other platform. Also, I have um, uh, the brand new, newer, newer one out, which I will make available on this video, which basically changed the moving average on the scalping indicator down here. So I'm having that. I'm not going to get deep into it right now. So it's a little bit different. So I think this is going to be the final rendition of that. I'm also going to go into <coughs> show you um, the videos for most of the questions that I get that people are having trouble finding these videos on how to do things. So I'll go over those. I have them opened up to show you real quick. I'm also going to show you the brand new book that they just released for the Million Dollar Margin Club, which is like the sequel to the candlestick pattern playbook. So you're going to want to see that. And I'm going to show you it if you don't want to buy it. I'm actually going to show you it. I know eventually they'll have it over on their channel as well for those of you that can't afford to buy the book. I think it's only $14.99, though. It's not an expensive book. Um, but it's really something which we'll go over in a minute. So you have all that to look forward to, as well as I'll make this layout available one more time for you that you're seeing right here in front of you, which is basically my, my power hour layout that I have been using uh, a bit uh, on um, – the opening as well. So I'm going to get right into it. Some of the questions I get asked a lot. Um, this is a think or swim platform. No question about that. There's no way to trade live with the professor at this point. It's just, there's no way to do that. It, the, that will be announced when that anything like that is open. Somebody asked me recently about wash sales. Um, I think it's on the comments right now. You don't have to worry about wash sales when you have a pattern day trading account as long as you don't hold the as long as you don't break the rules of that account. So there's that. Um, uh, point of control. I get asked about the point of control a lot. So let's talk about the whole volume profile for just a second. I wasn't going to really go into that that much, but let me go into here. And so this is the volume profile here. And I set it for intraday. So this is what it should look like. Now, there is a video about this, about the volume profile, but this is what you should have for day. You should have this at no, right? And then everything else, you can set your opacity at any level you want. That takes these blue lines over here down a little bit. Um, and then the other thing you want to do, scan down, and you can get to where you want to do your uh, those arrows that I do. You know, they're over here, put all these plots on, they're high and low here, and you can click the arrows. This is, this is a little tricky. This is for both ways. So you just have to click, see how that blue line moved? So it's, this, this is both ways. I got asked about that a whole bunch of times. Like, well, it's, it's only one way. No, it's both, both ways on one. Um, it is a little confusing, I agree. So what is the point of control? Uh, that is in the center right here. So that's how I set it up. So that's the center of, it's not necessarily in the center between, it, this is the value low and value high of the volume profile. The point of control is where most of the price action is. So that is going to be where you see some consolidation usually. Now, this is something that's already passed technically. So you just use it as one more indicator. Pretty much everything you see is already passed. So you just have to, uh, I mean, the level two would be the most current data is flying by, you know, and then the time and sales will be next to it showing you when the sale. So this would be the most live you would get um, that you can get. But everything else is just slightly passed. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I use this a lot to determine one more indicator to see which way might the stock move. When I'm betting a lot on a certain direction, I'm going to use that. I'm also going to use one minute and five minute candlestick alignment. I'm going to look at the patterns here on a five minute and look at a one minute. I'm also going to use the scalpers indicator. This is this looks like this, by the way, in pre-market. These little colors down here, that goes away when you're trading uh, on open session. So, you know, you look for a whole bunch of different things to line up in that book, Day Trading Volume 1, which is kind of the beginning of how to do any range bound or any type of trading like that at all with support and resistance. It goes into um, perfect alignment of different charts, uh, the, looking for level two, looking for the is volume indicator, looking everything you can get to line up before you go in and go out. I know a lot of traders who will wait many, many hours to just take one trade and then dump a bunch of shares in 
for that perfect setup. And if it doesn't go the way they want, they just get right out again. And they've waited all, they might have waited all day, but then they're going to be patient again and say, well, today wasn't my day. They don't just let it ride. They have a trading plan and they do that. And I know quite a few of them that I'm friends with that are quite good at it. I don't have the patience to do that. So I like to trade a half hour uh, per session, maybe at the most, and then move on and do something else. But anyway, so that's what the point of control is. Um, so, let's, so let's talk about the custom indicator for just a minute. So I'd mentioned that we're going to be doing that. So let me just go right over to the scalping indicator. So this is the newest one. So guys, if you have Thinkorswim, then I can help you. If you don't, I can't help you. But if you're quick, you can take a picture of this screen because now with the advent of all the different AI, ChatGPT or whatever you might be using, Gemini now used to be Bard, I guess, um, you can just put this script in and then it should be able to make it for, you know, Ninja Trader or um, Trading View. I know I did it a couple times for Trading View. I can't keep up with it. So you guys are going to have to get that community to do it yourself. I'm a Thinkorswim trader, but if you right click, if you have Thinkorswim, you quite right click this and you go to Edit Sources, and this is the script. So I'm going to leave this up here for a second and slowly scan for those of you that want to take a picture. It's obviously it's harder because you've got to. Um, type it all in but there that's it and then i'll go now i'll move to the next shot right there i think i'm gonna have to do it three times so that's more of the script so just pause your screen if you want to do it that way and then there's the last bit there so that's the entire script the way it is now with a lot of tweaking that i've been doing and uh, I really like the way it is set up now. So I think we're, I'm probably going to keep it this way for a long time. Now, there's also the seller's indicator, which a lot of people still use. That's how I started. And um, so I under DTS here, I have all, oops. I cover all your questions, guys. So there is a seller's indicator here too, right here. So that's a different one. Let's add that selected so you can see what that looks like. Now, I will often still trade this and only this. Um, and that's what it looks like down there. And it only keeps track of the sellers. So it's less um, complicated. And it just has the last, you know, the existing and last candle, the current and last candle. So one of the things I found that is, you know, if you watch some of my earlier videos, one of the things that's easier to to figure out or watch or you get a feeling for is you don't even have to look at the candlesticks to see what is happening. You can just kind of have one, you know, one thing as often you'll see in some of my old videos, you might see this, this like way up like that. And I'm reading this to determine the sellers. So if there's, you know, no sellers up here in a lot of volume, that's buyers. So you can tell where the buyers are, wherever the sellers aren't. And then you can kind of get um, your patterns right here if you really get used to reading this. So I got used to reading this because I didn't have the other scalpers indicator tweaked um, with the help of AI. That got better. But I got I, many, many uh, hours and hours and hours and hours of, of uh, and days and days and days and weeks and weeks and months and months and years and years trading, trading this um, indicator or a, a variation of it before I actually claimed it as my own and made my own seller's indicator. And now I've claimed this uh, scalper's indicator. Now, when I say I've claimed it, that doesn't mean that people didn't help me with it because they, they did. And so did uh, AI help me with it. So, and I did thank them as time was going on. I, I don't thank them every every video, obviously. But uh, um, so yeah, no, I'm not. Uh, it's it's a, a collaboration of a lot of people, and I don't care if somebody else did it or whatever. I just want to use it and make it available to you guys. So as you can see, those lines are gone here. And one of the changes I went back to the 50-day average here, but these are still um, active for the one minute of that day, and these percentages stayed the same, and it's a lighter color. So that's um, the other thing about that that I wanted to make sure I covered. Then we're going to get right into before I get into all the other uh, great videos. I wanted to talk about um, 
this right here. So this is the brand new book, and we're going to go in and look at it. So the name of it's Candlestick Mastery, Beginner to Pro in 66 Patterns, put out by the Million Dollar Margin Club. Now, this doesn't have a hyphen here, um, but their um, YouTube channel is um, the or just million hyphen dollar hyphen margin club and then they're starting to put the books up page by page reviews like the day trading volume one is there and just listening to um how they explain literally every page um is gonna it, it helps it helps what you might have missed even if you're reading the book on your own i would go over there and if you i wouldn't just use that and not get the book but it's there for free if that's what you want to do they're going to be putting all their books out there they're going to be coming mostly becoming a reviewing channel they do have um, a character john bull bear who is going to be releasing a whole bunch of technical analysis videos over there as well so that's going to be a pretty cool channel the million dollar margin club is kind of a spin-off from how we started with day trading for success where they traded with me and that name was developed and then when I saw which way they wanted to go and I wanted to go, we split off. That doesn't mean that I'm not actively contributing um, and they're not coming and trading with me. So we're both supportive of each other, but um, they want to go the way of the books and I'm totally supportive of that and 100% behind it and I'm collaborating. I collaborated with this book. I love this, this down here. Somebody actually already said something to me about this. This image provided by John Bull Bear, Historical Archives, which was created shortly after the disastrous abacus accident. That's an abacus, guys, if you don't know. That cost Munabushia his ring finger. I can't pronounce it. Some believe that the accident caused the mathematical error that triggered the catastrophic rice shortage of 1687, which resulted in many citizens losing their life savings. Guys, if you're not clear about this, this is a parody. This is humor. This is There was a rice shortage in that century. Did people lose life savings? I don't know if they look at it that way. And it's not because of his finger. That's because of AI. <laughs> so, so that was just a clever way of making a joke out of that. I thought it was really funny myself, but somebody was gave me a hard time about that. I'm like, well, you can ask him to take the cover down. I don't care. <laughs> No, but I think it's funny. Um, anyway, yeah. So, but the book itself is not a joke. Um, and let's go into what it looks like inside for just a few. I won't spend a long, long time on this. So, um, let me bring it over here. So, uh, we'll widen it up here. Make sure we got it all. There we go. So, can I turn pages or I go up and down? That's what I do. Oh, oh that's too fast. All right, hang on, guys. Let me just see here. Uh, maybe we'll do it. Okay, well, I can't get it all the way back. So, anyway, we'll just go through the pages, and I'll tell you about them real quick, what I know and what I think is so exciting about this new book. So, this is out available on Amazon as of today. I just bought one, so I know they're there. Um, so, anyway, it, it, the beginning is just a legal notice. It shows you about a lot of the other books the Million Dollar Margin Club has out, and it talks about the Million Dollar Margin Club, how you can get to their author's page, and then their, now their YouTube channel is right there too just like what i said million dollar margin club so um and then this is the table of contents i thought that was a cool picture they're at a table of contents anyway um and then it goes into the origin of the candlestick again much like the first book did the candlestick pattern playbook but this is meant to be bought or read in addition to that book and i'll show you why in just a minute but it did in case somebody only got this book they had to get into to, to some of the similar stuff uh, you know how high volume is, is more important when you're reading patterns but this is all about reading patterns and uh, the 66 candlestick patterns that are included in here so it does go into your easy abc what is a candlestick pattern again these are really cool cheat sheets um, that put them all on these little sheets here so um, you could always cut those out if you wanted to and but the other the first book has flashcards which is really cool so if you don't know and you're just watching this video for the first time, uh, I believe the key to uh, success, being a successful trader, is understanding these patterns. Um, I think that that is really the key, particularly for day trading. And you will see more and more and more that these are being respected because more and more people are learning, you know, what to, what to do with these patterns. So what these patterns mean. So the first – now what they do is they do um, – quizzes and challenges in here that 
to help you have fun while you learn these patterns. So it's so cool. It starts off with easy beginner's challenge. So you could just do these over and over and over again. So basically on this one, you're finding the name candlestick pattern. So they list it above here, and then you have to find them here. Now you can draw on the book. I recommend uh, keeping it so you don't, you don't mess up the book. But So there's a whole bunch of quizzes where you have to find the ones that they name. You know, you can just find them and make a note on a separate piece of paper if you want, or you could circle them in a race. If you, I, I say that because, I, you know, you'd want to just keep redoing this over and over till you get like 100%. So that's your first quiz, and they consider that to be more beginner's qu quizzes. Remember, you had that those opening sheets that showed you all of those. You could make photocopies and have them down next to you, you know, on your, your desk when you – uh, do it. But obviously, it's better if you just try to remember them. And you will, if you start doing these practices, you will remember the patterns when you see them. And you see me call them out. And, you know, I am totally supportive of the way this is being done. This is just in, in you know, drilling this knowledge into your brain while you have a good time, seeing how many you can get, right? So there's a whole bunch of those. And then you go on to the answers. So they give you all the answers. And they'll circle them here so you can see you know, and you can line them up to how they were. So, you know, you could just go to the answers page and start to learn that way if you didn't want to try to guess it first. So they have all those again and repeat. I'm going to go fa fast here because there's no reason to, I'm not going to show every page like, the, like that. I mean, I am showing every page if you want to pause and, and, and print these out. <laughs> I would just spend fourteen ninety five. Um, and now you have the next one. This is the advanced challenge, right? So find and name the candlestick pattern. So now... You have to find them and name them. They're not giving you the names ahead of time. So they'll tell you how many are here. And often I can tell you, having played this myself, there are more than what is said there. And, and you know, it is a little bit subjective. Uh, some of the, I mean, these are off of live charts. So they're not going to be perfect, absolutely perfect patterns, but this is what you're going to trade, right? So this is what you want to learn from. Like, what is it, what is considered that pattern when it's not a perfect pattern, right? So, and these are, this isn't from like a, a, um, a demo, uh, pictures from a demo account. You know, people think that Wix are only, high Wix are only from demo account. This is a live account on Thinkorswim, and they, they took all these snapshots and brought these in and then identified the, I, I know that they did thousands of chart pictures, thousands of them. So anyway, so then there's this, and now we have the answers to that. And now it's going to tell you what the names are and where they were. So that's really cool. I mean, this is just like such a great tool to have and to learn from uh, near your desk or whenever in the bathroom, whatever. <laughs> take a, take the, It's a fun thing. I wish they'd do like tons and tons of books like this, but I wonder if there's just no market for traders to play like you play normal puzzle books or something because I would have a blast just going through these myself um, on just anything. So now it's name and predict the direction of the candlestick pattern. So now you have to name it, and then you have to say, which way is it going to go without knowing the answer, right? So that's really cool. So now you're getting another level up um, of this one here. So uh, I thought they called this the, uh, oh, expert. Yeah, the expert. So this is the expert one. So the way they do it, and, and I kind of like that picture too. Um, can you choose wisely? That's a uh, that's an Indiana Jones. He chose wisely. Remember that line? Anyway, let's, so now you have it here for each of the six groups below. Determine the candle uh, pattern and the direction the next candle should go to complete a successful move. So you write the pattern in, and then you say, which way is this going to go? So can you guys guess these right here? I can. I can. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> God, what if I'm wrong? <laughs> but anyway, a lot of fun. So they have a lot of these, and it's great to just continue to go until you get them, until you just know instantly what happens. That's a flat top breakout, I can tell you. That's what that's about to be, I'll bet you. Um, so instant, an instant call there, but anyway, uh, without studying too long. But yeah, so there's a whole bunch of those too, and then there's the answers for those. So uh, in the directions that they go, you know, how, and you can mark yourself, how'd you do, your score and everything. So that's pretty cool. And then, uh, so that's a lot of time and effort that you have in there. And now this one, name all the candlestick patterns um, and you draw it in here again. So this is the professional challenge. They're not giving you any hints whatsoever here. You just have to name it 
So here they are, just name. Well, they're they're circling it, but now you have to know by heart, what do you call that? What are these called? There's an abandoned baby, that's for sure. Um, so, you know, and that's going to be a hammer. Um, if it was at the top, it'd be a hangman. You guys have heard me call these out. And some patterns that look similar can be named different things. Um, and uh, um, I was going to say, like a lot of them, you might not come across as often as others. Uh, but if you can sit and just write the names of these down, you are an expert. You have you have passed. So it's just kind of fun to um, see, to learn, and then to see how good you get. You know, did you name them all? There's a lot of friggin' bulls to name there. That's a boy. Can you imagine if those were actually all in here? I don't know how many, how many bull baby bulls come out of a bull. Isn't it just one? I don't know. Anyway, um, and then these are the answers. And then you passed. You have if you've done all that and you get a hundred percent, you you can congratulate yourself and stand with the bulls, and uh, and 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 go green, right? So that's a cool, uh, cool book. And then they have uh, um, all about their uh, Million Dollar Margin Club and all that. And I know that they have, the, I think I mentioned to you before, if you want to be in these books, like have your names in these books, and if you want to help um, them put content that's a good idea from you, you just, have to send a, um, you just have to send an email to them that says join the MMC, which is the Million Dollar Margin Club, to that email address. And then you automatically, as long as you're over 18, make sure you print the name um, that you want in the book that they're doing. And then they're, they're going to put you in as a contributor. So your name will be for all time. So that's really cool. So I, I would do that. If you've already bought a book, you're just asking for a review uh, on a book that you've already purchased. So, um, And then that's it. Guys, that's it. So that's a cool book. Uh, so I'd highly recommend that book to go along with the Candlestick Pattern book. Now I'm going to move on. I'm going to do a little uh, technical analysis with patterns, too, when I'm done here. So I'm not sure how long this video will be. Let's see here. Um, so let me get into uh, episodes that people keep asking about. I'll go through, through them very, very quickly. Episode 11 is how to predict the daily direction of the market for day trading and scalping. So what does that mean? That does not mean it, you, it will be right. So... Boy, do I get negative stuff about that. No, this is just the process that I and the traders uh, with a trade with me on Day Trading for Success go through each and every morning to try to help us decide which way the market's going to go so that if we're trading um, large cap consolidating stocks and we're in a certain position that's going out of the range, it might help us to say, hey, um, this is going down right now, but I think I'm okay to hold this a little longer because it should be going up. There, that being said, follow your trading plan for sure. Okay, so there's that uh, one. So that was episode um, 11. And then this one here is episode um, three. And this is how to speed up your platform and your computer on Thinkorswim. I get asked this a lot. Now, normally, if you just type in, you know, what, what you want on the, t on the channel, it, you know, type in what you're looking for, like speed up platform. This will just come up if you've forgotten or whatever, or a particular question that, that you didn't, that I'm not covering here. But this goes on about speeding up the computer things, tricks to get rid of some bugs and stuff, and speeding up your platform. And if you haven't heard me talk about this before, once you, you know, build a layout from scratch, and I have that video here, too, about how to build your own and I'll show you that number two. But once you've built it, um, save it right then before you trade on it. And then every morning, go back to the one that you built that has no bugs and nothing waiting to be reconciled and all that stuff. And it will be as fast as it can be on that. Um, as long as you're not trading as you're building it or so. I mean, it should be nice and clean. And this is information, and I talk about it on the video, I got from the text at, at Think or Swim about stuff not reconciling, just spinning on word and not and you know and then there's other little tricks in here to get the bugs out and it talks about now on every video now i have um i think it, no, it might not be here because this is an old one but on all the newer videos now i have the all the equipment links to all the equipment that i use i'm not affiliated with that, those companies i've just put links so you can find what i use i have trading stations in different states and multiple ones in the states that i'm i i spend more time in 
and I use basically the same equipment um, for those. And I, the reason I, I don't have different is because I like to feel very comfortable. I don't want any distractions when I trade. So everything needs to be like, it's simple and easy. And I remember it just like taking my next step, right? So this is episode 37. This is simulator layout and custom uh, scripts, old ones, but also the original one and five minute layouts, which is kind of fun to see. They haven't changed too much and these layouts are available in here. Now remember when you're, when you're importing layouts, other things, you're pushing control V, you're not pasting. And also, if you want all the custom scripts to move with you, so it looks the same, you have to have the custom scripts first. So if you see a layout and it says DTS on it, that's day trading for success. That's not a think or swim. So you have to get the custom script first. So um, these don't even have the custom scripts here. So you know why? Because it's on the other episode, I told you. Episode 83 is going to have all the custom scripts. But what I'm actually concerned about is... Does this have the layouts here since they moved the since they moved all this new stuff over here? Now I don't see the layouts. Oops. Okay, so that's a problem. I'll have to make sure these get back in here. The perfect one minute and five minute layouts are definitely am I missing this? It says they're right here, so there's a bunch of pissed off people at me. Um they were moving all this new stuff over with the books for Million Dollar Margin Club, and it looks like that got dropped off. Okay, annoying. All right, so I'll work on that. Sorry, but hopefully they're on some of the other ones. That was an epic fail. Okay, then we're going to, uh, okay, so here's a bunch of the scripts, and this has the RV layout. Um, let's see. Does this have any of the other layouts on it? No, but at least you've got the RV layout here. Uh, but this has almost all the custom scripts but the, the scripts but the latest um, scalping indicator that I'm going to be putting on this video so this is episode 83 so this has all of those and a lot of other information it's a great video to watch uh, with the new perfect one minute layout yeah so this is the new RV layout which says the new perfect one minute layout there but um, so there's that that was episode uh, 83 right I got another, I opened up a whole bunch of them here. So here's how you can build your own. Yeah, so build your own layout. So here it is right here. Thank goodness that one's on here too. Uh, and it has all the custom scripts on it again. So if you missed it the other time, and this is um, this is episode 96. So I keep putting more out because people keep not finding the older episodes. But this is the first one where I actually build it with you step by step, starting with a blank screen. So that's kind of fun. Uh, and in that way, you, you always know what to do. You can do it yourself, right? So, um, and then we have this one. If you're looking at the messages and all that words, and I just don't have the time, all the time to get to them, as you guys know, I try. Um, this is episode... Um, Episode 107. Jesus, I couldn't find it. It looked different here. So episode 107, um, and that's, uh, I talk about all the different, oh yeah, this one. This is a good one, right? So that, those list of books that went out, um, so I'm on a different screen, that's why. Um, those books that went out, um, that are the log books, in depending on which book you're interested, whether it be crypto or futures or forex or um, options or just regular stock trading inside each of those books are four strategies that are about that that type of trading that are from the um, biggest traders out there the ones that were in worldwide competitions and things like that so that's why it says used in worldwide competitions so I, I say um, there's four one of them is, one of the strategies is a repeat of the strategies that I put on day trading um, for success because you can use that with anything. But the others are all ones that I don't talk about here that are um, pretty handy to, to look up. So I would definitely do that. I also did a book, a, a video about this, all those books. Um, so I actually, I think this is it. This is the video about all those books. So you can kind of see them there. But uh, so that's that one. And I'm almost done here. And then this one is 
episode 108. This is like the more recent one I did where I really talked about the RV strategy from beginning to end and dark pools and more for an hour and 42 minutes. So if you want to get some popcorn and listen to that, that's got a lot of stuff in it too. Um, I'm putting these up because these are the ones I get questions about. So, I mean, questions should answer the questions. And then this is when I did the review on the Candlestick Playbook. So I, just like I showed this book, I showed the original Candlestick Playbook, okay? So now I'm going to do a little bit of analogy, uh, technical analysis, I mean, on... Um, let me get rid of this other indicator. And then what we'll do is we'll flip over to an on-demand. Let's go to a more, an older date. Let's go to like, uh, well, everybody knows the market's been straight up, so Let's just do that. Let's go back to power hour. Well, let's just go straight past. Let's just do like that, not power hour. I mean, after the RV strategy. So on demand has a few glitches, but yeah. Okay, is it moving? It's moving, okay, let's see here. Um, so it'll keep, when you go to on-demand, it's going to keep the layout that you had last. Let me open this up all the way. There we go. Um, I was so I could grab all the icons below. So let's take a look at this. And I can call out these patterns about which way. Because really, you should be able to see which way to go. So um, I think I did a video on this on-demand just the other day. Oh, last week maybe but let's take a look at these call out these patterns and see if they indeed went the right way as you saw them so here you're coming down here this is a pretty big move down and then at the end here you see a bullish doji or bullish rickshaw man and that if it's at the bottom of a downward move doesn't have to be green to be called a bullish. Now, if it is green, it would be stronger, but that means the stock's going to reverse. So what did it do? It reversed. So how much money is that? Which stock is this? NVIDIA? So that is 518.50. No, I'm sorry, right there. It's 518.37, and it went up to 519.62, roughly. So it went up $1.30. That's a $1.30 move, right? Now, Hopefully, uh, you've got this volume profile telling you something's up at this level. Something's up here. So I would think about reversing, even if I didn't have a support and resistance line, which I don't have here. Um, but I would think about it right here. And, and this is also lining up as a bearish tweezer. So I would ride that down. And when it got down here, I would tell myself this should continue to go down because that's a bearish tweezer. It did not, though. So this would have been bail out when it's not <laughs> when it's not going your right way you're getting kind of a big spinning top here which is showing a reversal at the bottom of this the right here i probably would have got hit but since i start started going down that's my uh, custom indicator going off as i started going down well, let's just take a look at that so you guys can see um so this just showed you that this is a downward trend so this is a cool indicator that's for free dts on episode 83 okay Let's go back to where I was. Uh, just make it a little bit bigger here. So where were we? We were right. Uh, were we right here? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. We were right here, right? Is that where we were? Uh, no, we were over here, right? Yeah, so this this one would have got me. And then I would have turned around and I would have worried right here. If you've seen me trade, the same place I worried before. I might have turned around and then took a quick loss and got back in and i'm hoping there's support and resistance lines here that tell me that maybe i should look to turn around here because there isn't a pattern to do that um but then as it started to go down definitely if it was halfway through this candle i'm turning around you know and hopefully there's something telling me to do that a lot sooner but a big candle like that when it goes halfway through you're going to want to reverse so you reverse down and now i would be worried right here again same thing i'd be worried at this level 
right? And then, uh, you know, assuming I didn't get shaken out, I'd be keeping to go down again. Now, I mean, at this point, it's kind of not fair because probably I would have a support and resistance line there at this point because of how many times that tapped. So as this went down, I would have been like, get ready to turn around and I would have caught it here on the way back up. And then I would got worried right here and that's another tweezer move at this point. So that would have told me to turn around again. And I don't need to see what's over here. I, I'm telling you like when I'm wrong and when I'm right, when the, when the readings are wrong or right, none of, none of this matters. Actually, let's do it like that. Let's um, just so you guys know, right? So where were we? We were right, were we right there? I can't remember where we were. No, we're right at that tweezer, right? Oops. Okay, so this tweezer told me it's going to continue to go down, but this line, this support and resistance told me maybe it's going to go up. So I would have had some indecision here, thinking I want to go down, continuing to go down, because I'm already going short here, right? And then it broke through. We don't know when that happened, if it went way up here before it did that. But if you read the book, Day Training Volume 1, so I already have some support here. So the pattern's saying something opposite of what actually happened. But if you read Day Trading Volume 1, once it breaks through the level, if it breaks back up, then it's giving you confidence to go the other direction when it pops back through a level. So if that was an actual level that we had marked on a four hour whatever, that's going to, I'm going to flip around right there. I still would have made money on that trade because I was going down, flipped around before it got, you know, even halfway up, I'm back up again. Now here, I don't know to get out. I don't know unless there's a support and resistance. You have one here. If you're just marking in the day that you're trading, like right here, you, you have something to be worried about. This turned around here, right here. So it's not, it's not rocket science, guys. Oops, I forgot. I went too far over and showed you guys. I shouldn't be doing it like that. But, I mean, this line's telling me get ready to turn around. This red uh, candlestick is saying, you just made a big move, maybe turn around right here. So now I'm going short. So as I go short, I'm coming up against this again, right? So somewhere here where it breaks down, breaks up, I'm flipping around. I'm going long. And now right here, I'm very afraid of getting out again. And it might have shaken me out here as it dropped through here. Oh, I keep going too far. I'm sorry. I just, it doesn't matter. That's the whole point. Um, so right there, I would have thought I might have shaken me out. Then I would have got back in. I'd be riding it high still. I'd still be riding it. You know, down here again, it might have shaken me out here. I don't know if I have any lines here um, to go by. I would love to have the real support and resistance lines. But, um, you know, they could have lost me. And then I would have got back in again, you know. And now these are starting to tell me it's going to turn around. This is a doji is going to tell me. So this is a bearish doji. This means get ready get ready. You know, you're up here, get ready. So it, it did it again. It's like now you're getting a, um, a an inverted hammer almost here, right here. So um, it's not an inverted hammer because it's at the top. Oh, no, hammer. Yeah, that's an inverted hammer. So then you're here and I'm getting shaken out somewhere right in here. And then there's a tweezer move. There's a tweezer move right there that's saying, go up, get in somewhere here. So I'm riding it up. I'm up here when it closed. And then it's saying, get ready. It's going to go the other way. Get ready. It's going to go the other way. Somewhere I catch it right here and it rides down. And then I don't have any support to go by. I assume that I'd have another. I mean, just look at this alone right here. I mean, this is something I would have marked where these turned around. Look at those two bodies. I would have marked, uh, marked a line there and I probably would have marked one here or they would have already existed. So in this area, as it came down, yes, these aren't a joke. Yes, it, it did it already. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch right there. People go like, well, how would you know? How? Because it's telling you, you know, guys, it's, it's not, you know, like I said, it's not rocket science. If you just slow down, have a low enough share size where you're not panicking, follow the RV strategy and just hold until it does the move you're supposed to move or until it breaks your trading plan and you get out. Another tweezer saying it's going to go down. Somewhere here you'd identify it like, hey, that's a tweezer. 
So you, if you didn't get out already, you're out somewhere in here. You're going down. You're bouncing off. You're getting ready to get out as it goes back up somewhere. You're switched. Now you're riding it all the way up, telling you it's going to reverse again right there. There's a hanging man. This is a, a spinning top. These are saying we're going to go the other way. So then you go down the other way. I don't know. I might have actually traded this day. I don't know. It looks familiar. Um and then, um, yeah, because this is right in the middle of when I would have traded. I start. I remember these patterns after a while. I re, I can. I dream candlestick patterns. I can't help it. I just. I do. Um, now we're right down by the point of control. So I think I opened this up to talk to you a little bit about that. Now the point of control is where most of the, it's showing you what already happened. It's not the future. It's showing you that that's where most of the price action happened. Why? Why did it happen there? So think that it's going to happen again. Now, it just bumped it up. So this this uh, five minute over here. So now it's why when it popped up like that, you'll see the way I trade. That just changed my perspective that this, that it's going to go up when I see something like that. So if I was sitting over here trading this and I was getting worried by a, a support and resistance line turning me around and I watched that pop up, that would say, hey, it's done all the math for me. It's calculated that all the people are right here and they're, they're, you know, now and they jump from down there and that's where they all are and that's going to make it go up. Then I'd be watching this. So let's just see what happens. So if I read this right now, right, let me just put this, I would have definitely marked this. That would be an area I would have marked. See here, it's almost a flat top here, flat down, top break down, right? And then it hit it again here, break down. I'd be looking for that to break down as well as that. So as that started to happen, I'm already short. I'm short about right here. And then I'm waiting and watching and watching, you know, what's going to happen here. Um, is this going to turn around and go back up? And I'm watching. I have no other lines to go by here. I just made these up right here. Um, but this looks like a downward move for a bit. It's just a retracement of what happened, but it might not stay for very long. And I, this isn't even moving for some reason. I don't know what's going on with that. That's just locked in place. Whatever. You can't on demand doesn't uh, um, sometimes it, but it shouldn't. It shouldn't affect you from um, you know trading because because um, large caps the level two isn't a big deal. Uh, so the fact that this isn't continuing a big move here, you know, scares me that I maybe it's not going to keep going down. So if you look at this here as an engulfing uh, pattern here, this also tells you it's going to go down. I don't know what the 15 minutes telling me here. I want to trade, guys, but it's Sunday. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's still going to go down. It's a big hanging man. So you, so I would expect it to consolidate here and then look for a turnaround right here. I'd be ever wary with my finger on the button, ready to reverse right in here. I'd be ever wary. You know, that this is going to turn around right here in this area. But it didn't. So I'm still going like, well, it didn't yet. It didn't yet. And then, of course, I'm watching the scalping indicator. So volume went way up for the buyers, but then dropped for these buyers. And now it's going up with the sellers. So this is giving me confirmation right here. Look at that strength to keep holding this position. I'm going to keep holding this position because it's so strong. So, uh, and look at this pulling it, pulling it in. Look at the, this showing you here on the volume profile. Look at the action coming out. This has already happened, but it's catching you up to it about what's already happened on the intraday. And it could pull it down. And I was just going to say, it could pull it down. Did you see the point of control pop down? So now that's more confirmation that it's going to stay down here for a little bit. So these are, this, is, this is how, if you, if you know how to read the patterns, you get proficient with level two and the scalpers indicator, you have a better than average chance um, of succeeding in this type of trading. I would just say that um, I mean, this is an entertainment channel. I didn't put up my disclaimer. Now that I'm talking about what to do, let me just do that real quick. Um, please read that. I am not a licensed financial advisor. But what I'm, what I'm trying to say is... Um, that it comes down to your share size. And then when you do, I didn't talk about the channel, so I'd watch that long video. So this is going to pop it down now. This, this is going to pull this point of control. See it? You see it go down? Um, so it's telling you, hey, we are not. We might not be going up yet. Don't get fooled. You know, look at the bigger pictures too. You know, what's happening here. 
Um, it doesn't mean it'll go that way because this is kind of a spinning top, which tells it would go up. But I interrupted myself. It really comes down to your trading plan and your emotions. Um, and if you're having trouble letting go, or whatever, then you probably have too high a share size, and you're 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 freaking yourself out with emotion. You can't take this loss. And the other guy does it on YouTube. This works for him, you know. No. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. That's one of the reasons why, you know, I don't I don't like to do uh, I, you guys have to learn uh, on your own. You have to find your own limitations, follow your own trading plan <coughs> and make it small enough so that it's that you feel comfortable with it. There's plenty of time. There's all kinds of time. I'm going to assume you're not my age. You got a lot more time than I do. Um things will work out. And if it's a financial issue, it just adds stress that you don't you want this to be kind of the side gig that is not you are not counting on this until you already are doing well and then it's just like a certain amount so it did exactly what i thought would have kept going down even though it alluded to going up this kept pulling down with it you know um so you you need but these are reversal signs for sure so it, but sometimes it takes two or three candles so you can't just instantly jump wait for it to confirm like down here what did I mark that on? Um, nothing on the five minute. It must have been something that looked like a bunch of places here, right? Have we traded for that long? Yeah. So it it clicked around here. We're not trading, but um, so now I'd be looking at that as a potential turnaround. You see how I do it? So I'd be waiting. Ready. I might even reverse already, and just go. I'll reverse right back, and I'll bank all that. You know, now I've banked it. So if it shoots up. I'm in a better position. I'll just, you know, so I lose 50 bucks or 100 bucks. I just made 500 or 1,000 or whatever it is. Or maybe you're just trading with 10 shares. Hey, I just made $30. So what if I lose five? I'm going to take a chance right here and, uh, and, and try to ride it up. So I have nothing to go on in this line. There's the VWAP. I don't mention that enough, but a lot of people use the VWAP as a support or resistance. So there, it kept going. So I would have, lot, I would have retraded, I would have reshorted, and I would have lost... You know, whatever it be, five bucks or five hundred bucks. Um, so this is pulling. This is going to start to pull you up now. So these indecisive moves and this point of control being up here, and then each one of these you break through. Let's, I'm assuming that these are more legit, and they're not really because I just made them on this daily. But um, if these were real support and resistance, but this is telling you it's going down still for sure. Look at that volume went up with them, and look at the thing there. So anyway. Nothing's for sure, as you can see, you know, I, it, but I, if you trade it in a way, well, oh, I'll take a chance. Oh, it didn't work. Then reverse, quickly reverse go, or, or, or sell and buy, you know, sell, uh, buy and sell again, whatever it takes. Don't use the reverse button, but just say, oops, okay. I, I lost a little bit on that one and just get right back into the position that it is going. You got to, you, know, you got to think about it that way. Watch my trading archives and watch me do it. It, I don't, it doesn't. You don't need to know any of the future. The future's right in front of you, telling you what to do right there. If you learn these little techniques, you know, for the most part, I know, I know it's hard. It is hard. I think that the candlestick books really help. Um, I would definitely do that. And then the day trading volume one was specifically designed for beginners on a large cap stock to just trade five shares, 10 shares to try to make $100 a day, $200 a day, $300 a day, whatever it might be where you don't, you know, not NVIDIA. <laughs> so NVIDIA is scary now, but I mean, you know, uh, uh, um, AMD, you know, um, Apple, um, you know, some of the ones you can't afford a lot of shares, but it's not going to shake you out with big moves and you can slowly carve out 20 bucks. 30 bucks, 10 bucks. Before you know it, you have 120, you have 180, you just broke 200. I'm going to call it a day at 200. At the end of the week, I have 1,000 if I do that every day, whatever. So anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful. Uh, don't forget to get that other new book. And don't forget to give reviews, by the way. Uh, nobody seems to be doing that for them. Um, but I hope you like what you see. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like the content. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. So stay green out there.